Touch your neighbor and say, that will be your portion. It will be your portion in Jesus' name. There's a Hebrew word, shalom. It means uh, completeness, soundness, welfare, peace. If you have a lot of money, but you don't have good health, then something is wrong. Do you know this prosperity that comes from God? That it says that by Psalm 29, verse 11. Let's read Psalm 29, verse 11. The Bible says the Lord will give strength unto his people. The Lord will bless his people with peace. Shalom, peace, peace, peace. You can't buy peace. You cannot buy peace. That peace is coming to somebody here today. This for you. You want to read this. Proverbs 10, verse 22. It is not just the word of a pastor to you. It's the word of a most high God. Inspired word. Proverbs 29, uh, 10, I mean to say, verse 22. Are you there? If you're not there, look at the screen. Proverbs chapter 10, verse 22. I want you to read confidently and say, The blessings of the Lord, the blessing of the Lord, it maketh rich, and he added no sorrow with it. Say it again. The blessing of the Lord, it maketh rich, and he added no sorrow. For the last time. Now, you said God blessed you. What's that thing adding sorrow to your plate? Focus on it a little bit because that thing is going to vanish. That problem is going to be solved and resolved. I want you to read it for the last time. The blessing of the Lord, it maketh rich, and he added no sorrow with it. It was David Yonggi Cho, you know, the founder of one of the largest assemblies in the world. He said, true prosperity comes when you have the blessings of God in every area of your life. Spirit, soul, and body. Now, when we are delivered from the curse of the law through Jesus, we experience the fullness of life that come through God, intended for us to be prospered. Now, let's look at the last point. We're going to pray. We're out of time. Really out of time now. Immeasurable uh, blessings, immeasurable blessings through the anointing of the Spirit for answering divine call. Now, the Bible says in Galatians 3 verse 14 that the blessings of Abraham might come on the Gentiles through Jesus Christ. Now, the last part of that sentence, after the semicolon, what does the Bible say? That we might receive the promise of the Spirit through faith. I want you to say to yourself that I, what's your name? Mention your name, Uche, might receive the promise of a Spirit through faith. And Jesus showed us how to receive the promise of a Spirit through faith. When he came in the human form in Luke chapter 4, verse 18, Jesus declared, the Spirit of the Lord is upon me. Because he's anointed me to preach the gospel to the poor. He has sent me to heal the brokenhearted, to preach deliverance to the captives and recovering of sight, the blind, to set at liberty them that are bruised. That will be your portion in Jesus' name. What are these promises of the Spirit? I want you to have a little context as we go to God in prayers. Ephesians chapter 4, verse 11. Ephesians 4. Verse 11, these promises will equip you for service. These promises will empower you to grow in maturity and unity and bring the, help to bring the body of Christ to unity. Let's look at Ephesians 4, 11. And he gave some apostles, some prophets, some evangelists, some pastors and teachers for the perfecting of the saints, for the work of the ministry, for the defining of the body of Christ, Verse 13, till we all come in the unity of a faith and of the knowledge of the Son of God unto a perfect man, unto the measure of the stature of the fullness of Christ. Verse 14, the Bible says that we henceforth be no more children tossed to and fro, carried about with every wind of doctrine by the slate of men and cunning craftiness, whereby they lie in wait to deceive. Verse 15, the Bible says, by speaking the truth in love, we may grow up to him in all things, which is the head, even Christ. Lastly, verse 16, the Bible says, for from whom the whole body fitly joined together and compacted by that which every joint supplied, according to the effectual working in the, of, in the measure of every part, make it increase of the body unto the edifying of what itself in love. 
No, it was yesterday we were here for workers' meeting. Our general superintendent, uh, Pastor W.F. Kumi, preached an anointed message to the workers. He talked about moving from an initial anointing to an increasing anointing, and then moving from that in increasing anointing to an immeasurable anointing. If you, you may say, I'm not a worker, I want you to go back and look, listen to that message. It's online. You really want to pay attention to the details of that message because somebody is going to, uh, somebody's going to break out. Can I hear somebody is going to break out? He said, he spoke about how we begin from the basic anointing to preach. When we come to Christ, we answer the call of God to salvation. We begin from that basic anointing of just preaching, trying to live the Christian life. But he said, comes the time, that, that anointing, it needs to increase. Every living thing grows. And so there has to be increase of that anointing. But then, on the day of Pentecost, you know, we saw people who say food servers, food sellers, fruit carriers. You see ordinary people catching the anointing, the baptismal measure of the Holy Spirit. People like Philip. Philip, please help me bring that table over from there. He's that kind of person. Hey, bro, can you run? Quickly, quickly, quickly run. Go bring the table. We need to serve people food. People are hungry. Put the table here. No, you didn't put it very well. Can you raise the height or can you make it lower? Come on, Philip, you're too slow. Philip, what is wrong with you today? Philip, he was that kind of person until the baptismal measure of the Holy Spirit came upon him. And the Lord enlarged his coast. And even before planes came, this man began to operate in another realm. He goes here, he preaches the word, and suddenly he's uh, somewhere else. He's ministering. We thought you saw you here. We saw you here, but suddenly he's another place. He's moving in an immeasurable capacity. He is now discharging the forces of darkness. He's now doing the incredible thing. Can I hear it? Incredible. Can I hear it say incredible? That anointing is coming upon the church. I said that anointing is coming upon the church in Jesus' name. Amen. You know, it was Rehan Bonke. He said this. You know Rehan Bonke? great evangelist he's gone to be with the lord he said the holy spirit is a healing spirit when the holy spirit is present anything is possible don't you ever say anything is possible the blind can see the lame can work the deaf can hear cancer can be uprooted you know, some people think cancer is an ordinary if it's an ordinary thing then fight it now oh it's meant for the doctors only the dog no no this is not a matter of doctors hey it's time for you and i to fight the good fight of faith fight let's fight together let's fight together that this thing called cancer and all other incurable diseases can be dealt with when i say dealt with there are a thousand and one ways god can bring solution either he uses the doctors to bring a, a prescription or a cure or he finds there's a there's a, a special ointment somewhere the earth is the law there's nothing he cannot do but something, anything is possible. Don't you ever say anything is possible? Now say it clearly. Anything is possible. Are you going to wait till cancer come and take your little ones? You survived it. And then it's coming for your children. Haven't you looked at children? You go, I get these messages from children's hospital. Little kids, six, seven, suffering from cancer. Ah, the time has come. Creation awaits the manifestation. Can I hear me say manifestation? Are you still sitting down? You're still sitting down. What level are you today? Are you the evangelist? Did he call you evangelist? He miracle worker. What is your calling? Have you two found out your calling? This morning, God is going to anoint the church. God is going to increase the church. God is going to make the church unlimited. Unlimited. Ah, A.W. Toza said, God is looking for people through whom he can do the impossible. What a pity. We plan only the things we can do by ourselves. No, now it's time to launch into another realm. Miracle Walker. Oh, Miracle Walker. Come and do a miracle. A miracle today. Come and do a miracle. A miracle today. Miracle Walker. Miracle Walker. Where are those angelic voices? Miracle Walker. Come and do a miracle. A miracle today. Come and do a miracle. 
a miracle today passionately miracle worker miracle worker lay hold of the eternal life you are the miracle worker come and do a miracle a miracle today don't stop praying come and do a miracle a miracle that great physician the great healer you are the great physician come and do a miracle a miracle today in my life come and do a miracle a miracle he's called the great physician so call him great physician the great physician that's your name daddy the great physician come and do a miracle a miracle today come and do a miracle a miracle today Yahweh
the poor. Every Amalekite, every atmosphere of my soul, I put an end to you. Break out. Break out into your blessings. Break out into your prosperity. Break out into your miracle. Anointing. The Spirit of the Lord is upon me. He has anointed me to preach the gospel to the poor. He has sent me to heal the brokenhearted, to preach deliverance to the captives and recovery of sight to the blind, to set at liberty them that are bruised. Anyone that, who is bruised, any every captain, anyone who is captive to the enemy, I release you today. I release you today. I release you today. Anyone who is broken hearted, I release you today. I release you today. In the name of Jesus. All who are blind, I command, I pray your sight come back, your vision come back, spiritual vision. The Spirit of the Lord is upon me. Is there anyone who is sick here today? He's called the great physician. The Amalekites will not hinder me. I put an altar end to them. Anything that represents the Amalekites, I bring an end to the onslaught of the kingdom of darkness. You are the miracle. Witchcraft. The Lord arrests you. The spirit of witchcraft, I arrest. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus. He's called a miracle worker. Miracle worker brings salvation. He brings commitment and consecration. He's miracle worker. He brings prosperity. Break out. Break into your blessing. Break into unlimitless blessing. Break out into your prosperity. Break out into divine favor. The Spirit of the Lord is upon me. He has anointed me to preach the gospel to the poor. Break out from that valley and get to your mountain top. Break out from that darkness. Break into your light. Light. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ, break out, break out, break out, break out, break out, break out, break out. Break out in the spirit. I told you the things that you see physically, the things you see happening materially are controlled in the spirit realm. They are controlled in the spirit realm. Now break out, break out into freshness. Break out into new life. Break out into revival. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, the name that is greater than every other name. The Bible says that the mention of the name of Jesus, every knee bowed. Let every knee bow, let every spirit bow. The spirit of witchcraft bow. Oppression, the spirit of oppression bow. The Lord is in his holy temple. Let every spirit bow. He's a miracle worker. The Spirit of the Lord is upon me. He's anointed me to preach the gospel. I have preached the gospel here today. And you also, you will preach the gospel to the poor. He sent me to heal the brokenhearted. Brokenhearted. To preach deliverance to the captives. Let every spirit bow. Contrary to his will, he's asked us to fight the good fight of faith, to contend with those that contend. He said he will contend with those that contend with us. Let every witchcraft, let every sorcery and sorceress, let the instrument of wickedness and oppression, let the instruments of poverty you know, if God hasn't blessed you, you can't come. You see, you need to be released to come into your prosperity. Abraham's blessings come through faith. 
you've been restricted for too long you work very hard you can't even pass the exam I break the siege I declare today the siege is over in the name of Jesus the siege of the enemy over your career you say you want to serve God but you're busy your career has to be taken care of your health has to be taken care of I declare today the siege the enemy has used has put over you the seed that he's used to encamp around you, I break them all in the name of Jesus Christ. I release you to serve God. I release you to prosper. I release you to your destiny. And when I say I release you, I'm simply a mouthpiece of this great God. I declare today, Deep Alive Bible Church, Washington, D.C. Every man here listening to me, and everyone who is connected to us here in DC, I declare your release, your release, your release, your release in the name of Jesus Christ. May you encounter angelic visitations in the name of Jesus Christ. Though the Holy Spirit of God, the promise of the Spirit is comfort. He brings counsels, He brings guidance. You're wondering how do I go about things? He is called the comforter. Receive the comfort of a spirit receive the guidance of the Holy Spirit receive the counsel of the Holy Spirit you will no longer stumble you will walk in the Spirit the Holy Spirit will lead and guide you even in ministry in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus I say in the name of Jesus every yoke be broken here today every fetter be broken here today the bible says that he that dwells in the secret place of the most high shall abide under the shadow of the almighty i break the siege of death today in the name of jesus christ you long-standing sickness i break your siege in the name of jesus christ you long-standing oppression, I break your siege in the name of Jesus Christ. You restriction and shallowness, hindering the people of God from moving forward. I say today, enough of going round the mountain. It's time to move forward. I say, move forward in Jesus' name. The Bible says he gave some apostles, some prophets, some evangelists, some pastors and teachers. And that you are here today, discover your gifts. In the name of Jesus, may your gift be revealed to you and you will walk in it in Jesus' name. I say you will walk in it in the mighty name of Jesus. You will no longer be tossed to and fro. You will assert yourself in the kingdom. You will assert yourself in the kingdom of men as well. Thank you, Heavenly Father. Glory and honor be to your name. Begin to thank the Lord, begin to thank the Lord. Lift up your hand and begin to thank God. Begin to worship His holy name. Begin to exalt His holy name. Magnify Him. Magnify Him. Sing a new song to Him. If you're filled with a new wine, sing a new song. A song in the Spirit. Sing a new song to the Lord. Sing a new song. A new song, a new song, a song of victory. A new song, a song of liberation. Sing a new song to the Lord. Sing a new song, a new song, a new song. A new song. God understands the song. A new song, a song, a song of deliverance. A song of healing. A song of commitment and consecration. Sing a new song to the Lord. A song of thanksgiving. Bless the Lord, bless the Lord, bless the Lord. Bless him from the bottom of your heart. Bless him from the bottom of your heart. Thank him from whom all blessings flow.
Park your Lord and go. Park your Lord and go in Jesus' name. Satan, Satan, Satan. Hallelujah, park your Lord. Hallelujah, park your Lord and go in Jesus' name. Father, in the name of Jesus, we say, Washington, D.C., Deeper Life Bible Church is liberated. Every property of the devil in our children, every property of the devil in our family, every property of the devil in our neighborhood, we command now, pack your load and go in Jesus' name. Today is a day of celebration because the man of God has pronounced and we receive that we are set free in Jesus' name. All, dark, all powers of darkness, you have no place here. All power of darkness, you have no power in our family, in our children, in our place of work, Everywhere we go, we are going out with victory in Jesus' name. Lord, when we come across our friends, our colleagues, our place of work, they will ask us what happened, and we will tell them today, today. It was wonderful at Deeper Life Bible Church, Washington, D.C. Will you want to go with me? I am ready to take you there. Father, we thank you because this is a place of liberation. And this is a pillar in our journey to heaven. We will look down the memory lane. If Jesus tarry, we will mark this calendar today that this was the last time Satan ever had any foothold. Satan, you have no foothold in this place anymore in Jesus' name. We destroy all the power of darkness, all the power of witchcraft. We destroy them in the lives of everyone in Jesus' name. Lord, we thank and bless your name. For in Jesus' mighty name, we are prayed. Amen. Let's share the grace in fellowship. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the sweet fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us now and forevermore. Go to the person you have never been there. Go to that person and pronounce, make this pronouncement. Surely, go to the person first. Somebody that you have never talked to. Surely, goodness and mercy shall follow you all the days of your life. And we shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever. Amen.